Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. What has been your conversation this week? What has been the thoughts that have been going through your mind? Well, let me tell you, conversations that I heard, I know is not isolated, which means many, many people are experiencing situations, maybe secretly, and some that they have um, talk to others about where they don't understand why they are thinking about past situations or feeling past situations as if they're right there with them. And this is an um, important time to um, reflect. Really, all of March uh, would have had us reflecting because it's a time of introspect. It's the end of the year, you know, actually. Um, and coming into the new year, um, you find yourself cleaning things out. And when I say the new year, I look at April being the new year and um, the um, Pisces or March being the, um, the end of the year. Um, the resurrection for Christ um, always comes into um, the the season of Aries, um, which is in March for um, the rising or um, the resurrection of, of, of power, you know, the power of the, the Holy Spirit. And so when you look at all of those um, dynamics um, and even the two months, you have went through a whole year and now you're cleaning out things because not only is it the end of um, the year, it's the end of some things as well. Um, some areas of life, you may have um, started something new or you're looking to start new endeavors. Um, and so you got to clean things out before. And, you know, a lot of people may have been cleaning out um, prior to um, March to get prepared or just following their gut instincts, their intuition. Um, whereas some people are just starting to do that or some people don't know what they're feeling. And that's where um, you come in as um, a coach or in leadership, behavior um, development and spirituality. When you're helping people to develop in these areas, you help them connect the points from emotion to um, mental thinking to uh, physical action and spiritual um, development is um, an essential part of that because your spirit gives you the ability to understand where you are. Um, the material part of you is just a level of life that you came here um, in and you began to work at in some capacity, but you and I are required to begin to work on that part of us that brought us into this world, right? And that's the spiritual man, the spiritual woman, you know? So moving back into the cleaning part, you are more attuned to what you need to let go and what you don't need to let go, regardless of what your feelings are, you know, tied into it. Um, you're more knowing of what you want when you are practicing a spiritual um, practice. And you're less of knowing when you're not practicing because your mind is on things that you know you can take care of and you don't need the help of, you know, spiritual guidance. And I'm saying it in a light way. So anyway, moving on. If you're feeling like cl cleaning out something, you know, if you're feeling restless, you don't know which way to go. You don't know um, what you're really doing. You may present yourself to people as if you are strong and you're, you know, you're okay. But when you get home, you um, fall apart. Um, this is that calling within you saying, 
it's time for you to reach to higher heights. You can no longer maintain yourself or your thoughts. It's time to let go of the thoughts you've been thinking um, so that you can have the peace that you really desire um, and take on the next level of who you are. You've been living as who you are for this time, but there's another part of you that's, you know, is summoning you to come up and do things that your heart really desires. So the cleaning out would be your mind, the thoughts, the way that you, you do things, because it's not productive. It may not, you know, keep you in harmonious um, relationships, and that is professionally um, as well as intimately, your relationship with your children may not be um, on point with your mother and father, and so on and so forth. Because a lot of times when you talk about relationships, people isolated to, you know, a man and a woman, and that's cool, but you got to think widespread to understand that relationships are all that we do every day when we're driving, we're in relationship. We could have road rage, I mean, excuse me, road rage. And that's a significant um, indicator that there's a need to get some peace in our lives or to settle down some undisciplined behavior within us because that's a compulsive behavior when road rage comes up. You're angry and it always happens when you're driving or when you can't get to a place um, or do something as fast as you want to, there's interference. So you have a rage that comes up. That's, that's connected to emotion and emotion and a behavior comes out of emotion. So the reason why we are faced with that is because it's, it's showing itself to us saying, we need to work on this, um, me and you, need to get rid of this. That's what the emotion is saying. That's why it comes up at certain times. Why don't you drive with peace? You know what I'm saying? Or why is it that you are able to keep um, a, a face in a certain happy way when you're at, at work, but when you go home, all hell breaks out with your family or now your family is gone and you are living alone, right? These are all indicators that it's time for us to come up to another level. And um, it is up to the individual. So the cleaning out part, the restless part, the times and the seasons, if you go back and you kind of look back on, over your life, you may have, you know, saw that there were certain points in your life that these feelings and behaviors came up. And you may have attributed to it being other people, but anybody that's always blaming other people have to begin to identify with it's possibly them. Now we do have mirroring um, relationships where we, you know, we're um, uh, we we have people in our lives that mirror back something about ourselves, such as you may um, say, oh you know, they're just jealous of me and so on and so forth. And, and it might be that you're able to say that because you actually have those feelings as well. You know, like I'm looking at the man in the mirror. That means that you're looking at that person and you can see in them what's going on in you and it's vice versa. So here, if you want to overcome these areas of life, then what you have to do is begin the process of cleaning out, which is what we feel right here, you know, at this time. Um, a lot of people want to rest and reflect because it's time to let go of old situations. And even the way that you think that things should be done, you know, sometimes it's a time of mending um, hearts that have been broken, mending relationships in all aspects where everyone can come to the table and sit down and discuss how it went, but how it could have went better. And that is in your professional life, because sometimes you're not 
um, on one accord in your professions. You're doing work one way and people are doing and the vision is never met. It's the same in a relationship with the family. Most families I find, um, husbands and wives, they haven't um, created a vision. They don't have goals together. Everyone is just in relationships, you know, um, having sex, then they having babies. So we have to get to a place where we're creating um, vision. Where are we going to go? How are we going to do it? But get this, we also have to learn how to listen to each other. If what I'm saying is not really in agreement with you, have patience to discipline yourself to listen and be open-minded because we're all human. That means that we are here and we have the right to be treated respectfully if we're in a relationship professionally, even with our children, some children disrespect their parents and parents don't know what to do with that. We're all here respectfully and we have the right to be heard. You know, I, I think it's important for people to look at this time again and self-examine so that the changes that are in the atmosphere for the better can come because one person can't make a difference, although they can begin the change, it's everybody else that comes on board that brings the impact of change. And so I'm going to leave you guys um, with, the, you know, this and you can mull over it and contact me if you um, want to add to what is being said. And even if you want to start coaching, um, getting um, a consultant or con coaching package, you know, um, so that you can do some um, cleaning, um, leadership development, if you need that, we, we got you spiritual um, guidance, we have you, uh, just contact me, and then we can get started. So you guys have a, a wonderful day. And um, just reflect on your reaction. Reflect on who you are. And never let anyone tell you that you are something that you are not. Whatever they see in you, let it, let it be. But always hold your opinion of yourself. Be confident. Love you. And be at peace. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. And be blessed.